These are X-ray tetras, and this is a Whirlpool Aquarium. It has four separate pumps to generate a continuous flow throughout the tank. I'm going to use these floating plans to show you just how fast this water is moving. Do you think my fish are going to like it? Make sure to keep watching. This custom-made acrylic donut tank has such a unique shape. I used it to build my Axolotl Lucy and Agility course. It had a variety of obstacles that got Lucy moving while simulating her brain activity. It was basically a three-part Ninja Warrior obstacle course. But now, we're going to use this tank to create a continuous whirlpool for my fish. New fish have arrived. Let's add them to the quarantine tank while we prepare to set up their new home. These X-ray tetras are great schooling fish. They should be kept in groups of at least six. These little guys love high flow, and I think they're going to love their whirlpool tank. Let's get back to setting up their new home. Let's start by adding this white sand into our fish tank. This is our base layer, also known as substrate. It's a great hose for beneficial bacteria. Once we break it smooth, we can prepare to add in our hardscape and plants. Let's chisel this series stone to break up our large pieces into smaller accent stones. This is Mopani wood. This wood originates from Africa and is known for its two-tone coloring that looks great in an aquarium. Let's place our hardscape around the aquarium to give our tank a more natural look. This wood will help to lower the pH of the water and our series stone will be a great hose for our aquatic plants. Using live plants in an aquarium has many benefits. They provide coverage for your fish, help to remove harmful compounds from the water, and just make every tank look great. These are all easy to care for, low light plants and will be great for beginners. It's time to spray it down. This will help to keep our aquatic plants moist while I prepare to fill up the tank. Let's use this tube to fill up our fish tank. Be sure the water isn't hitting the sand directly. This will help make for a super clear fill. Don't forget to add in your heater and filter before cycling your tank. This process can take anywhere between two to four weeks and ensures your tank has the beneficial bacteria it needs to keep your fish safe and happy. I recently did a video on how to cycle a fish tank. Be sure to check it out to learn more about this critical step in fish keeping. This is duckweed. These floating plants will help to remove nitrates directly from the water column. They'll also look great in our Whirlpool tank. Let's add in our pumps and see our Whirlpool tank in action. These pumps are on a timer to replicate a river and also give our fish a break in between their swimming. In nature, X-ray tetras love high flowing water and migrate throughout the year with seasonal floods. It's finally time to add in our X-ray tetras. Be sure to drip acclimate your fish. This is a safe and gentle way to introduce them into their new home. Look, they're swimming together throughout the tank. This Whirlpool style tank will help to encourage their schooling behavior. Fun fact, did you know that fish evolved to swim in schools to avoid predators and swim more efficiently? I love watching them swim around the tank. They're on their own aqua merry-go-round. Thanks for watching.